Spencer and Richard. And I'm Sarah Carroll, and this is our first ever Bronx Science Wolverine TV episode. Now, this is our first ever student-run news source of Bronx Science, so we're very excited to be broadcasting to you. Every week, Wolverine TV will keep you updated on the things going on at school, whatever they may be. Wolverine TV isn't just bringing you news, we're bringing you your news. We'll broadcast not only through the school, but all over Facebook and YouTube. Now, here's what you missed. Our biggest story is Bronx Science's first ever pep rally on November 25th. Now, the Bronx Science Student Organization wanted to organize a pep rally, and it was Bronx Science's first. As the band played lively music, appearances were made by the girls and boys soccer team, the robotics team, and the cheerleading team. Thursday, Bronx Science's Drama Department is performing Alice in Wonderland, based on the play done by the Manhattan Project. The Drama Department's version will star Sarah Caro and will be directed by Jessica Nolasco. Now, the show is premiering on two nights, this Thursday at 3.45 right after SGI and Friday at 7. It promises to be a great performance. The Bronx Science Drama Department has put on a number of successful shows over the years including The Dining Room, and Then There Were None, and Crazy For You. But this December, they will be playing Alice in Wonderland in the auditorium right over here. The shows will be playing on December 10th and 11th, and they are free of charge. Sarah, are you going to see Alice in Wonderland? Yes, of course. Yeah? Yes. Are you going to see Alice in Wonderland? Yes, I am. Are you going to see Alice in Wonderland? Of course I am. What about you? Yeah, I'm doing makeup. Oh, yeah? And hair. Excellent. Yeah. Sir, you going to see Alice in Wonderland this yeah. Thursday or Friday? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm pumped. It looks great. I was watching it at attention. Amazing. Excellent. Yeah. James, you're in the play. What can you tell us about Alice in Wonderland? You going to see Alice in Wonderland? I am going to see Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah? You think it's going to be a good show? It's going to be incredible. Do you give your uh, recommendation? I give my recommendation times 3,005. Unlike previous years, the Bronx Science Sports teams have been doing very well this year. That's right, Sarah. On November 8th, the Bronx Science girls soccer team won the championship game against Beacon's Blue Demons and claimed the city title. The game was intense. Neither team scored a goal within the first 80 minutes of the game. Now first came penalty kicks. The first goal was scored by senior Alexander Bushman, and the next three goals, making the score up to four, were by Miami Romlin, Jackie Wheaton, and sophomore Phoebe Dawkins. Last up was senior captain Taylor Murtaugh, who had two stress fractures in her foot and a sore left knee. Her shot landed in the back of the net, giving Brown Science their first girls soccer championship in over 15 years. You know, our basketball teams aren't that bad either. Now, the boys' varsity team gotten off to a 3-0 start and are, looking go and are going to make history this year. Hey, who's the good-looking kid with the curly hair? That's Daniel. The girls' team is pretty good, too. The Lady Wolverines showed up the Columbus High School teams, too. At the cross-country PSAL Championships, Bronx Science finished fourth in the city and qualified for the State Federation Championship for the first time in school history. Let's go, Steven! Here comes Bronx High School Science!
first game of Rock Science History to make the New York State Federation. We've been making stage for like 14 months now, so we got it today. I mean, four, 14 months of waiting to go out for that. Brent Burnbaum is starring in the first innovative TV program on Wolverine TV. Every week he'll be asking a different question. This week we'll be seeing if the kids really know what the school mascot is. You know what the Bronx Sign school mascot is? The Wolverine. Awesome. All right. Care to do an interview for Wolverine TV? Yeah! Alrighty. Do you know what the Bronx Science School mascot is? The Wolverine! Yeah! Thanks for watching the Wolverine TV. Okay. Psych! Care to answer questions for Wolverine TV? Yeah, sure thing, Brad. Do you know what the Bong Science School mascot is? Um, a tiger, I believe. Oh, you're cool. Except they're sent close. Thank you, Steve. It's been Wolverine TV. That's all for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, Bronx Science, we're much more than news. We're, we're Wolverine, Wolverine TV. TV.